In this lesson, we'll take a look at using similar triangles to solve problems. And in the first example, Fred wants to know how wide a river is. And this is the river here. There's one river bank, and there's one more river bank there. So he's trying to determine the distance across the river. And he's actually taken some measurements on it's probably the side of the river that uh, Fred is on. He's measured the distance from that point to here is 40 meters, and this point from here to here is 8 meters, and then this is 5. And so he's marked this off, and these two triangles would be similar, and that's we're going to use that idea to solve to find the length of the uh, distance across the river. Uh, this angle right here and this angle right here are certainly opposite one another, so those two angles would be equal. And this is a right angle, as is this one, so there's two equal pairs of angles in the two triangles, so they certainly must be similar. Now we're going to set up a proportion here to solve for r. The r side in the larger triangle would correspond to the 5 side in the smaller triangle. And then the 40 side would correspond to the 8. Uh, for example, the 40 is the side between this angle, which is equal to this one, and the 90. So the 8 is the side between the equal angle from that pair and the 90 in the smaller triangle. So that's why the 8 and the 40 would correspond. Now this is the proportion that we'll use to solve the distance r. Since r corresponds to 5, the ratio of r to 5 would equal the ratio of 40 to 8. Again, r and 40 are two sides from the larger triangle, and the 5 and the 8 are two sides that are correspond to the r and the 40 from the smaller triangle. And we're going to cross multiply to solve for r. r would equal the product of 5 and 40 divided by 8. So 5 times 40 is 200, and 200 divided by 8 is 25. So the distance across the river is 25 meters. And there's my answer statement. The river is 25 meters wide. So this is the kind of proportion you can use with similar triangles to find unknown sides. Now a scale factor can sometimes be quite useful when dealing with similar triangles and trying to find unknown sides. And this is an alternate method to uh, finding the 25 meters to what we did in example 1 using the proportion. So what you could do is this. Notice that the 40 is 5 times bigger than the 8. And if we divide 40 by 8, we get 5. That means then the larger triangle is 5 times larger than the small one. So that means that every side over here must be 5 times bigger than every side over here. So the way we could find the unknown r, and again, k is used for the scale factor. Uh, k is 40 divided by 8 is 5. So that's the, like the multiplying factor to get the larger triangle from the smaller one. So to find r, what we could do is take the 5 meter side that we know and multiply by the scale factor, that 5 there, to get 25 meters. So that's just another way to find that the river is 25 meters wide. You could use a scale factor. And of course, if you're going in the opposite direction, if I knew this side here and I wanted to find that shorter hypotenuse, I could take that side and divide it by 20, sorry, by 5 to find the smaller hypotenuse here. Flipping over to the second page, we're asked to determine the ratio of the areas of these two similar triangles. And they're certainly similar. Every side over here is double the sides in the smaller triangle on the left. So the area of any triangle is the base times height divided by 2. And the base and the height of this triangle are uh, 4 and 3. So we multiply 3 by 4 and divide by 2. And so that's 12 divided by 2 is 6. So the area of this triangle is 6 meters squared. The larger triangle, again, base times height divided by 2. So we're multiplying 6 and 8 and dividing by 2. And that's 48 divided by 2 is 24. So we're asked to find the ratio of the areas. In other words, how many times larger is this big triangle than the smaller one? So to find that ratio, we would divide 24 by 6. So 24 divided by 6 is 4. So that means that the area of this larger triangle, it's 4 times bigger than the area of the smaller one. Now. 4 times bigger. Notice that the scale factor here is 2. It's 3 that we multiply by 2 to give you 6, or 5 times 2 is 10, or 4 times 2 is 8. So the scale factor between these two triangles is 2. 
And what I want to point out is, notice that since k equals 2, if you take that k value and square it, uh, 2 squared is 4, that actually gives you the ratio of the areas. And the reason you square it is because area is squared. There's two dimensions you use in a triangle to find the area, base times height, divided by 2, two dimensions, base and height. So if you double both of them, they're each multiplied by 2, so the area should be multiplied by 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. So that's another reason that it's 4 times larger. So if you know the scale factor between the two similar figures, the scale factor squared will give you how many times larger the bigger figure is or how many times smaller the smaller figure is. One more example on the last page, on example 3 we'll get to in a moment. In top, in general, the ratio of the areas of similar triangles is the scale factor squared. And just to show you that in general, here's the area of a triangle, base times height divided by 2. And, and if I substitute in place of b, k times b, because it's k times bigger. Remember, k is the scale factor. I'm multiplying every side in the triangle by k. And the h as well. If I multiply uh, h by k, it would be called kh. Now, if you simplify this, k times k is k squared. And then we have the b times the h is the bh over 2. Notice that this is the original area, bh over 2, base times height divided by 2. So the area of the larger triangle is the scale factor squared times the original area. So this is just showing that if that's the original triangle and this is the area of the enlarged one, it is k squared times larger. And we're going to use that idea in example 3 to find the, uh, the area of this larger triangle. We're told this area is 20. And this is the same diagram as the first example. We don't even need to know this is 5. We're not finding the length of the river in this case, uh, but otherwise it's the same diagram. We're asked to uh, find out the area of this larger triangle, given that the area of the smaller one is 20. So we're told this area here is 20. Now if the scale factor is 5, then all I have to do is take the 20 and multiply it by 5 squared. And I forgot my answer conclusion statement up here. So again, since k is 5, then the area of the larger triangle is the scale factor squared times the 20, 20 being the area of the smaller one. And 20, 5 times 20 is 500. So the area of this triangle would be 500 meters squared. And that's the end of the lesson.